Ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, welcome you to the official press conference for Glory 15 Istanbul. We are very excited to be back in one of the world's great cities, and we are looking forward to another fantastic event Saturday night at Ukur Arena. Uh, much of that is due to the work that uh, Tapus Productions has done in advance of this event. 12 Nisan Cumartesi akşamı Ülker Sports Arena'da birbirinden değerli sporcuların birbirinden güzel fair play mücadelesini görerek e, tarihe tanıklık edeceksiniz. Ben şimdiden bütün sporculara, organizasyona katılacak katılımcılara ve seyircilere iyi ve eğlenceli bir seyir ve başarılı bir organizasyon geçirmemizi diliyorum. Teşekkür ederim. Uh, on Saturday 12th of uh, April you're going to be uh, we being uh, the best one of the best sports organization in the world and I would like to wish uh, a good uh, sportsmanship and uh, good competition uh, to everyone, the participants and also the competitors. I want to wish all our fighters uh, a successful fight on Saturday and for the fans uh, that come to the Elker Arena and around the world, I can tell you that we did our best again to present you the most spectacular fight and great sports entertainment. With that, we will open it up for questions. If you have questions for anyone on our panel today, just raise your hand. We have a microphone and we will bring it to you. Uh, I'm going to start on the right-hand side with, uh, with Robin. Um, you're always right on the edge of that lightweight championship picture. And after the last fight, you, know, you had that disappointment. You said in training you changed a few things and uh, speed was the thing you really wanted to work on. Why did you identify speed? Uh, why I changed that? Yeah. Why speed in particular? Because I thought I was in New York, I was too slow. So that's why I changed it. Was there anything in particular that happened in the fight that made you think speed was an issue as opposed to, I don't know anything defensively or movement wise? Yeah, I lost the fight, so that got wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, and for Tyrone and Nathan, the history that you two guys have got, is it strange now to be sat next to each other and sharing a mineral water? Is it unusual or awkward at all for you two guys to be sat there next to each other like this? No, not at all. You know, uh, we're uh, professionals and what happened in the past that happened. You know, I respect Nathan a lot. He's uh, truly one of the best in the world, in my opinion. So uh, I got all the respect for him. And uh, we're just professionals and we do what we need to do. You know, this is our job. We beat people up or we get beat up and that's it. This tournament presents some interesting possibilities for you, Tyrone, because uh, you know you could meet Nathan in the final, or you could meet Saki in the final. And either way, you're looking at what would be an important rematch for you. Do you have a preference either way? Uh, no, not at all. You know, um, my focus is uh, just on winning, and I put all my personal things aside. Uh, the belt—that's you know what got my total focus. So now our to our favorite uh, competitor here, Gökhan, and you are a hot favorite uh, among Turkish fans and Turkish citizens. And uh, who do you see as your uh, favorite fighter to meet in the final? Öncelikle herkese hoş geldiniz. Um, turnuvada çoğu dövüşçülerin yaptığı yanlışlar, bir yanlışı biz de yaptık zamanda finalde düşünmek. Uh, biz profesyonel dövüşüyüz. Ve benim için en önemli şimdilik Nathan Corbett. Nathan Corbett'te kim görürse onu cumartesi göreceğiz. Uh, the, the, the, the main mistake that usually the competitors, the fighters do is just think about final uh, too early. We are a professional uh, sportsman and we should proceed uh, one match at a time. So uh, the main th threat for me is, is Nathan uh, and others. Uh, the first uh, others we'll see when it comes uh, on Saturday. Since you're still uh, our favorite uh, person in this event to see or to take the uh, title here, and you, s you previously uh, dropped from heavyweight to light heavyweight, and you mentioned that this might be a small advantage in your, on your side, and do you really uh, think that you have a, a considerable advantage among, uh, compared to other competitors, fighters uh, in the tournament in this regard? Avantage olacağını uh, aslında cumartesi göreceğiz. Normal 
son kaç senedir, belki 8 senedir, 10 senedir ağır sikletle maç yaptım. Ee, bu son 10 senede 95 kilo yoktu kickboksa. Tek ağır siklet enteresandı ve 70 kilo enteresandı. O yüzden e, devamlı ağır siklet dövüştüm ve ağır siklet de artık benim için bitti değil. Ee, yeni yol kendimi arıyorum. Yeni bir e, yeni bir beni hırs yapacak bir şey arıyorum. O yüzden 95 kilo da denemek istedim ve cumartesi deneyeceğiz işte. In the last 8-10 years, uh, there wasn't much uh, in the kickboxing arena in either. It, there was uh, it only 70 kilogram and 95 kilogram was popular, so I dropped to 95 kilogram. And in terms of the advantage it brings, or um, it just uh, we'll see on Saturday uh, how it goes. I hope it goes well, so that I can uh, continue with the light heavyweight and uh, do my job. Um, how do you feel about the? How do you feel about your uh, recent form? And do you feel strong and uh, competitive? And uh, what does it mean the, the especially the prize uh, for you? Sorun, pardon. Sorun aynı soruya benziyor. Yani kendimi iyi hissediyorum. Kilomu da e, güzel şekilde verdim. Şu an e, 96 buçuk kilom, 96 kilom ve e, kemer hakkında tabii ki ne inşallah bizim olacak. Yani beklentimiz o. İyi antrenman yaptık ve kendi megvencim sonsuz. E, geçen sene çok güzel geçti. Herkes destek verdi ve bu sene aynı geçeceğini bekliyorum inşallah. I I trained hard. I dropped to 95. Uh, sorry, 96 kilos and uh, I trained hard and I will fight hard and I'm hoping to win the, the big prize. And uh, last year was a success in terms of everything, organization, the sports and everything. And we're hoping the same for this year as well. Uh, this is for Tyron. Uh, after you lost your match to Gökhan in 2009, you said that uh, you, you want a revenge and you have a championship to win. And uh, <coughs> On Saturday, you're going to uh, fight with both Gökhan and uh, and and also Cavallari. And uh, what do you feel about that uh, meeting the two of the uh, popular and uh, successful fighters? Uh? I don't know if I'm gonna face Gokan in the in the in the final. You know, I have a first fight, and uh, that's against Saul Cavallari. I don't overlook him. You know, he's a very dangerous opponent. And uh, I'm just focusing on that, you know, and what will happen that night will happen that night. We cannot change the outcome. So uh, I'm just focused on my first fight and uh, we'll see. And I've been fighting very popular fighters for my whole life, so it's nothing new. One of the questions is about the choice of these four men for this lightweight tournament. Can you talk for a moment about why they match up so well style-wise and why they are here for this tournament in Istanbul? Bu dört sporcunun neden seçildiği ile ilgili olarak ben bilgi almak istiyorum. Yani birbirleriyle olan rekabeti mi ya da diğer faktörler mi ilgili oldu? Bununla ilgili bilgi verirsen memnun oluruz. Well, to begin with uh, Saulo Cavallari, he made his debut in the Glory with a, a very good spectacular fight with a high-ranked fighter, Philip Felinde. After that, he knocked out a, a top-ranked fighter like Murat Besidi, so he raised in the ranking. And he's a, he is a really glory-style fighter because he has a KO in uh, both hands. That's why he is selected. It's normal, of course, that we select the number one, Tyron Spong, and the number two, Gokan Saki, especially, of course, here in Turkey. Uh, Mr. Nathan Kobet is a great uh, fighter with a great name. The fight between Mr. Gokan Saki and Nata Kobet was already uh, years on the line. There was always uh, some uh, obstacle between it. Nathan is used to fight with elbows. Saki uh, was uh, actually a, a little bit heavier fighter. So I'm happy that finally uh, this fight is there because I think a lot of people in the world uh, are looking forward to this fight. And uh, we are happy that both fighters accepted this and uh, that we could select them to this uh, great uh, tournament, and I think we have uh, 
in this weight category the four best fighters in the world and not only the four best but also the most attractive fighters for television and that's also very important. Uh, let me just say it's natural when you are in your home country for uh, Gokhan to be the favorite among fans and have many questions but the one thing we know about this tournament they these four men have a combined 256 victories with 181 knockouts which means they combined have a 71 percent knockout ratio which explains why that we're so excited about this tournament any man can win this tournament my question is to other competitors uh, who are going to be competitors of Gyokan. Uh, is it going to be a, a disadvantage for you to facing Gyokan in his home country? Also, uh, like the, the whole audience being against you in the uh, arena, is it going to be a disadvantage? Uh, what do you think about that? I think it's exciting. Um, normally, on the go where I'm from in Australia, um, I'm, I'm the Saki in Australia where they we do my own promotions and spectators come um, and, and cheer me on. So 3,000 people screaming carnage and my opponent's there on his own. So, um, you know, the tables have turned. I'm in Istanbul and I'm fighting, you know, Gokhan Saki, who obviously is a hero in his country and a hero in the sport. So I think it's exciting. I've got nothing to lose, so I'm just pumped. And I think that uh, adrenaline from the crowd screaming his name is going to turn me on. So I can't wait. Yeah, also for Nathan, uh, do you put added pressure on yourself? I mean, coming off the knockout loss to, to Spong, now you got to go against Saki. I know you said you're excited for the opportunity, but have you put extra pressure on yourself to bounce back in the win column? Um, after Chicago, uh, being you know being stopped by Spong was uh, was something different for myself. I've never really been stopped in a, such a big fight. Um, like you asked earlier, um, with you know the, obviously the. I guess it w there wasn't really a rivalry, but you know it's a sport rivalry where f you know I won the first one, we had the second one, um, and, and Spawn got up, and uh, it was it was a great fight. So coming off the back of that fight, uh, I had to get back in the winning circle and and, and fought back in Australia, obviously under tie rules, and, and got a win. Um, but to be honest, I think having a loss at that level made me realise that it doesn't really matter. It's, it's you know at the end of the day, I'm still walking, I'm still living, I'm still breathing, and uh, to lose to the number one, you know, it doesn't hurt so bad. So getting back in there to fight Saki, of course, the uh, pressure is definitely there, the expectations on myself and uh, the, the rest of the world watching. But uh, I feel good about this fight and uh, I'm, I'm okay, I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, for Tyrone, you, you mentioned Salo is a dangerous opponent to you. Uh, just break it down, you know, what about his style? What about his fighting skills? Uh, do you consider dangerous, and what are you looking to uh, to prepare for? Um, he's dangerous because he's a, a very uh, young and hungry fighter. You know, I'm not old, too old myself, but uh, uh, I have the number one position right now in the rankings. Uh, I'm the champion, and I think everybody's gunning for my place, my spot. Uh, so that makes him a, a dangerous fighter, and um, you know, he has nothing to lose. Um, it's uh, one of the biggest fights in his career, and uh, I think he's very motivated, so uh, i got to be sharp. Before we get another question, I would like to hear from uh, Salo Cavallari, if we can, for just a moment. All these other men are having a chance to talk. You, uh, as Tyrone mentioned, young fighter, very hungry. Tell him what this tournament means to you. Um, Estou muito feliz de estar participando desse evento, que é o maior evento da atualidade. Eu sempre quis estar participando desse evento. É, com certeza, sábado será o um dia muito especial para mim. Como todos os lutadores estão aqui sobre a mesa para poder estar fazendo o combate, eu vou estar com muita força, com muita vontade, e espero que Deus possa vir me iluminar com nove minutos de mortalidade, que eu possa não sentir dor, nem cansaço, que eu possa sair de cima do ringue com essa vitória mesmo. Muito obrigado. I'm very happy for this stay here and glory. This is a special show and the number one for the world. And the, I'm excited for the fight for Tyrone, the number one for the world. And, and the very special day for here and Saturday. And the very happy for this. 
I have a question for Nathan Corbett. Uh, most of the time you, you are fighting in Muay Thai style. Uh, is, it dif uh, difficult to, is it difficult this transition to kickboxing? And la your last fight also in Muay Thai, I think. It's not so much uh, that it's difficult to fight these rules. I mean, I'm a, I believe that I'm a complete fighter. My boxing skills are good. It's just the, I like to elbow people. So uh, that's the only thing that's difficult. I can't do that. But, you know, I, I took it on when Glory contacted me and asked me to fight um, in Glory. I was uh, honoured, firstly, to be invited and to be able to fight Tyro and Spong, the number one, straight up. And then my second fight against Gokan Saki, you know, it's, it's really a dream come true to fight in, in, in this sport. You know, I don't claim to be a kickboxing champion. These guys are the best at that sport currently. And uh, to be able to fight the best at what they do um, is, is uh, awesome. So, you know, it's not difficult. It's just another change of the game. Okay, so uh, this question goes to each guy that's going to take part in the tournament. And uh, I guess start with Tyrone because you're ranked number one. Um, you see the belt here, you see the check, and also there's victory on Saturday night. Of those three things, the money, the belt, the victory, which one is the most important and why? You know, we're all prize fighters, so everybody who says, oh, only the victory is important, they're lying because we need money. You know, everybody needs to... Um, support their family or whatever so um, but with the one comes another so with victory comes the money so I think those both are the most important and a belt is nice to have but I got a bunch of them already so I think the victory and the money is the most important. Pretty much uh, what the, what Tyrone said you know at the end of the day uh, you got to put food on the table so definitely the money is what we're here for. Um, would I put myself through this, you know, for 14 years for no money? No, for sure, I would never do that. Would I change uh, and, and, and not have done what I've done just for money? No, I wouldn't do that either. So, as Tyrone said, we're here to win. We're here to be the champion. It's the best that we can be. Take the glory and uh, take the money. Aynen, Nathan Lako, Tyrone dedikleri gibi, benim için en önemli Türkiye'de bizim bizim milletin önünde bizim kardeşlerimizin önünde tabii ki kazanmak öncelikle önemli olan odur benim için. Ondan sonra gerisi zaten geliyor. Gerisi belli. Yani para, kemer para da bir gün vardır, bir gün yoktur. Yani onlar beni fark etmez. Sonuçta e, biz de 15-20 senedir para için dövüşmedik. Ve son 2-3 senedir Glory sayesinde güzel para kazanma imkanı oluyor. Ve o da kazan kazandıktan sonra geliyor tabii. Önce kazanmak, gerisi belli zaten. My primary objective in my home country is uh, obviously uh, winning uh, in front of them and make them happy. And then the rest uh, comes, the money, the glory, and uh, the belt. Uh, thanks to glory, in the last few years, uh, we were able to uh, have a good uh, income in this uh, business. As Nathan said, we've done this for 15, 20 years without getting paid or without getting any money. So I would like to thank them here uh, for enabling us uh, to do this professionally for us. Can we get translation for Salo? Eles querem saber, Salo, o que é mais importante para você? O dinheiro que você pode receber, o cinturão ou as vitórias? O mais importante que eu busco nesse evento é ser campeão, dono do cinturão e poder estar escrevendo meu nome na, na história desse grande evento e ser lembrado por mil anos. The very important for him is the victor no no no he's no no no import for the money for the belt only for his look for the victor and the uh, scrape the name in the star for glory all right ladies and gentlemen uh, that will come bring to a close our press conference today i just want to remind everybody that our weigh-ins will take place tomorrow at two o'clock is it here rashid same place two o'clock tomorrow afternoon 
What you see here are just a handful of the fights that will be taking place at Ulker Arena Saturday night. We have 11 fights on the card to, all together. Uh, Mr. Daniel Ilunga is with us here. Boom, boom. Uh, back in the back of the room. Uh, we appreciate his uh, attendance. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday night, they fight for the belt, they fight for the money, and they fight for glory. Istanbul, it's a pleasure to be back with you. And I'll remind everyone that it is time for glory. We'll see you tomorrow at Wayans.